Welcome back to the channel. This is our weekly vlog, and uh, we uh, we went out shopping today and didn't know there was severe weather coming, apparently. It looked like it was going to rain later, but now it's pouring down rain, so we're stuck. We're stranded in the car right now. At least we're home, but we have to wait for a, a point to... Uh, Go in the go in the go in the house. Oh man, this is bad weather. Yeah. <laughs> but at least we can shoot some video while we're out here, right? We're gonna start the week off, I think, with this movie. This is the Vim Vendors movie, Perfect Days. I've been hearing so many great things about, and I just noticed that it was 50% off on Amazon on the last couple days of the Criterion sale, so I decided to pick it up from there. 50% off, which was great. And sometimes, I think someone just left a comment on the channel too about the fact that if you have a wish list on Amazon, a lot of these titles go down, uh, you know, get to 50% off. So usually during the year, if something is uh, discounted, I'll go through my wish list and pick it up uh, when there's not a sale, when there's not a Barnes & Noble sale or, or a Criterion uh, flash sale, but we're really looking forward to this one. This is, the again, a later, uh, a recent release, um, 1226 is the spine number, and here are the extra features on the back here, too. Um, a new interview with Vim Vendors, uh, interview with actor Koji Yakusho, interview with the producer, um, a, another sh short film by vendors and a trailer. So this looks this looks great. I was really looking forward to this one. Um, I've heard so many great things about it. So we will be watching this one this week, and I'll do a little bit of a reaction to it as well. Um, so that's Monday. One of our favorite games is Overcooked. We like to play these Nintendo games together, and we were looking for a way to make it a little bit less stressful to play the game because some of the other levels can get pretty stressful when you're trying to cook things. So I think we found it, right? I think you found it in here. Yeah, it's down here, this um, assist mode. So if you go into assist mode, these are all the options where you can... You can like skip a level, skip levels. change the timers, change so that you don't have a timer. You can turn off the, like burning the food because... Oh, that's some, right, sometimes yeah. Sometimes it's really tricky, like we get really stressed out when we have to like go put out the fire and then yeah. do it and then you can also reduce the amount of recipes so it looks like you can just change what's it what's the or... respawn time is that the oh that's that's like how long it takes for the um ingredients to like be available oh yeah maybe or like um like you know like when the mouse steals the ingredients or things like that i think like some of it like sometimes when things that like, come back it or or maybe no maybe it's when you um, like when you fall into the lava and you have to like oh, it takes bad. more time gotcha. for you before you come back I only think, the host can change these when playing multiplayer i think we probably too, so. do you have to turn it i guess we would probably we could try we could try a couple of these things and see if it helps like i feel like yeah reduce the amount of recipes well we just turned off burning food fires oh yeah but then we want to turn off burning the food i think we kind of need that still. yeah we could still keep that um you want to turn off the order timer? Yeah, maybe we just do that, yeah. And then... This, oh, increasing the recipe score... What about the, allow, like, allow level skipping? Because maybe if there's a level that we don't like to... I also don't can... know what assist mode specifically means, right. so I think we'll... Maybe we'll just try those for now. for now and see how that works. Yeah. Okay. So we were just looking at these graphic novels for... Um, that you're are you going to get these on Hoopla? You said yeah, they're on Hoopla. The Universal Monsters like series is coming out, and I think Frankenstein is coming out soon. And then the Creature from the Black Lagoon is almost out. There's like four issues. Yeah. Um. Because we were we were looking at the Creature from the Black Lagoon ones too, right? Which was yeah. I think was on Instagram. But Hoopla only has Dracula for me right now. But oh, it doesn't have the creature. Not yet. No, Lagoon. I have to check around and see if I can get get them somewhere else. This is this is about the time of year too when we start to think about if we're going to get any any more universal horror because we we have I'll show you what we have for universal horror. Well, this is not all the universal horror, but these are the sets, and so we have the we have Dracula. This is a Best Buy exclusive I got, which is a steel book, which has 
beautiful artwork on it. I wish I had gotten the other ones too. And we have the Invisible Man, which we've been watching on the Universal Monsters channel. We have the Frankenstein side, the complete set of Frankenstein uh, movies. We have the Mummy movies. And then we were thinking about maybe getting uh, Creature from the Black Lagoon. So I'm not sure, but this is about the time of year when we start to think about what we want to get uh, for horror movies, usually older horror movies or cozy horror, as we call it. We started using this new app called Finch, too, which really helps us be uh, accountable, I suppose. I mean, we can put, we, you can put some tasks on it that you can cross off every day. And we really started with some simple ones, but you can really add anything. And it's kind of fun. We've been using it a long time, right? Yeah. When you cross up something on your... It's day 28. Day 28. So, but we're both using it, right? Which is fun. Yeah, it's fun. And then, oh. And then um, you can see, let's see, you can see like it has, he has a little house and you get to decorate the house like you can change the doors and the little nest and everything and you can like add to this and change his outfits and stuff. Like, um, what would you call? Would you call this like a task app or an accountability app? I'm not really sure what it is, but we, but I think you found. I mean, you found it. So, what, what would um, you call it though? I think it's just like, like a, a task app or something. Yeah, it's like an accountability thing, and then you can like be, you can make friends. Like we're friends together, and so you can like send encouragement to each other and stuff. And it's just like I don't know, like a fun way to check in instead of just like a boring to-do list. I think it's cool because we're really using it, right? And we're just adding yeah. things. And again, we just have simple tasks on right oh, now. Oh, and then can... we like that you can collect little pets. Oh yeah. So we have like um, they go on adventures too. Right? Yeah, like you have this little bear, and um, the squiggle, and then you've been hanging out with Cloud a lot. Now Cloud's an adult. So this is cool. Yeah. And now he's on an adventure and he'll bring back some, so like they find things like, like books and they learn things. And then one of the default tasks is literally survive the day. Another film that's in my watch pile uh, that I picked up recently is this one. This is The Prisoner of Second Avenue with Jack Lemmon and Anne Bancroft. And this is a Warner Archive release. But for some reason, it's been on my list for a while, I wasn't able to pick it up and then I noticed it was available again. So I'm not sure if it was out of print, but I got a copy of it. Really excited to have a copy of it. This has some extra features on it also. Uh, looks like a Dinah segment. Um, Dinah was a talk show way back when too. And I remember watching that to see some interviews with celebrities and things like that. And also the making of The Prisoner of Second Avenue. But this one's based on a Neil Simon play. And I also noticed too, uh, just yesterday, that Warner Archive changed their Facebook um, fan page to Warner Classics. So I'm not sure if they're planning to maybe rebrand some of these, but I have a lot of Warner Archive. I'm fine with Warner Archive or Warner Classics. I just don't know if any of the headers up here, this header that's at the top will change at some point to say Warner Classics. Thinking about the Warner Archive rebranding to Warner Classics. I remember also in Criterion, some of these, these are some of the earliest Criterions I picked up. And in the beginning, Criterion had this, just the Criterion collection here up at the top. And then they had a barcode on the back with this white label. Uh, this is in the, this is one of the first Criterions I picked up, uh, Fishing with John, which I've talked about on the channel before too. But the same with Abbas Kiarostami's Taste of Cherry too. You get this Criterion collection up at the top and then a barcode on the back. And this is a little different too. Then you get the line with uh, for Life Aquatic, which is on DVD. I have the Blu-ray for this too, but my wife actually uh, found this one in a discount bin at Barnes and Noble, and I'm so happy she picked up. And we've left it uh, sealed, uh, and it was only let's see, it was only six ninety nine. I think that was even discounted even further. But and then this one has this really large barcode on the back, which is interesting. And the same also for this copy of Bad uh, Timing, which I think is really an underrated Nicholas Rogue film. Um, and there's the barcode on the back of that one too. So it'll be really interesting to see what Warner Archive or now Warner Classics decides to do if they're going to if they plan to anything new coming out. Maybe we'll say Warner Classics. I'm not really sure yet, but I just noticed that last night. Is 
this new, the caramel pumpkin? I've never had it before. I haven't seen this before, but he's cute on the front, right? He is. It's a little display of the moonstone. So I guess there was a big rainstorm while we were in the store, but we could hear it. Right? We missed the rain, but it's... We could hear it really loudly in the store. Yeah, but it's just as hot as it was know, when we left. Hot, waiting for the rain to stop so we got back from the store and started pouring so now now we're stuck in the car we're stuck in the car oh boy look at that what a downpour <laughs> i can't do that i can't do that oh oh man this is like this is like a car wash we can't even see through the you know to the field over there can you believe that? Wow. We made it out of the car. That was some rainstorm. It's a rainstorm. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, look at that. It's just, I'm like, Soaked. man. I'm going to wash Crazy. all my clothes. Crazy. <laughs> it's dark in here. We had to turn the lights on. And it's still really pouring. I think, it's a th I think it's a thunderstorm. Oh yeah, there's some thunder. Oof. This is just a table in the office that we use for puzzles. And you can see I have a lot of CDs over here too, which I need to go through. Um, let me know if you're interested in any music um, content because I have a lot of CDs that I can showcase also. And there's a stack of puzzles. We got some movies over here too. I'm getting ready to do a Kino Lorber sale haul at some point this week. But uh, this is just a table that we use for, it's kind of a multi-purpose table, but right now it's, the purpose is puzzles. <laughs> it's Wednesday and today's a day we usually talk in the office. Jesse's here too. Hello. Uh, hello. You? Um, and I, it seems like I've been spending all of my movie time watching Jim Jarmusch interviews on YouTube. And I was watching one last night, They're usually about an hour, so that takes up a lot of my movie time, and then I'm usually watching a sitcom or something after that, right before going to sleep. Um, but I was, you know, it was really interesting. He was doing an interview last night about this movie, which we really like, The Dead Don't Die. I uh, really love this one, and I, I know there's a people, there's a lot of people maybe that don't like it, but I feel like it's a really interesting one. And he talked a lot about it, about working with Bill Murray. And uh, Adam Driver and the fact that Adam Driver was uh, already hired to do the Star Wars movie, so they had to really get the filming done really quickly. Uh, how Bill Murray took off in a in a in I guess their police car that they had in the movie when they were waiting for a setup or something like that, and had kind of a fun ride. But there's a lot of Jim Jarmusch has so many great stories and so many great insights into film. I just think he's an amazing uh, filmmaker, and this happens often. I get into a filmmaker sometimes. And I want to watch all their movies. I want to watch all the interviews. I really get into it. And Jim Jarmusch seems to be coming up lately uh, quite a bit. But I think as the Halloween season approaches, we might be watching more of these zombie type movies, uh, including Night of the Living Dead and some George Romero films. And of course, we're finishing The Walking Dead season 11, uh, which we're really enjoying so far. Sorry, I'm talking so fast. You can interrupt me if you want, but... I'm just I was just trying gonna to get... say it seems like it's like a, our whole it's the year of the zombie for us because the year started, of the zombie I know we started watching The Walking Dead in February yeah and it, tomorrow is August tomorrow's August wow it really so take like, it really took us through most of the year then I think yeah and then we have like two or three like mini series to watch and that'll get us get us to September that's gonna and get us to Halloween and, and then stuff then we're watching Universal and... Monsters we're watching horror movies all year or just horror things all year it seems yeah. like. Along with other things. I mean, we are watching other things, too. I'm watching sitcoms, too. But um, So anyway, I think we'll watch this one. And then he also talked about this movie, Ghost Dogs. I'm holding these movies at a little bit of an angle because of the glare. But uh, So we might watch this one, too. You said you were 
interested in watching this one, right? Well, he talked about how he took Forrest Whitaker like into the city and they went and got pizza or something and he was like in character and I don't know, I, I don't know that much about this film, but I'm guessing it's, it's a really gonna good be film. like a yeah. quiet, like kind of slice of life maybe sort of film. Um for this it's a character little, that's not I like mean, it's not a it's not a modern, like contemporary story, right? It's like the way I, I haven't seen this in a while, but Forrest Whitaker plays a contract killer, so it's going to be a little bit. Be a, yeah, but you know, like <laughs> yeah, but it's a little bit of a quieter. But you know, like like that movie, like Leon, he's a hitman, yeah, yeah. but it's a it's a quiet. It's film a quieter overall. one, yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah, yeah. So that's what we've been doing. Uh, you know, we're still going to get to uh, the new Vim Vendors film this week. Uh, I'm sure I'm going to make sure that we get to that um, because I need to see it and we wanted to see it together. It's just that yeah. sometimes when it's late at night and we're going to be watching subtitles, probably, I would say, um, it, you know, you know, we get tired. Yeah, I mean, we have like time in the afternoon that we usually watch The Walking Dead, but that would be like the ideal time to watch a yeah, subtitled movie. That's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so that's what we've been doing lately. Uh, just again in the office today. Um, and that's all. We, do you have anything else for today? I don't think so. I mean, this week has been surprisingly busy, so we haven't, busy. we haven't really watched too many things. We're still getting over from that from that uh, traumatic trip to the store yesterday that we had. So yeah, that was quite the rainstorm. Quite the rainstorm, and uh, I think even the the we had to dry off all the food. Oh yeah, like the rain like got in. And I noticed even last yeah, I noticed even last night after I because uh, we were making some sandwiches last night, the bread was still the outside of the bread package was still wet at Wasn't the end it? of the day, and yeah, I was wipe I was still wiping it off. So I don't know how the rain got in all those bags. I don't know, but when we like when we ran from the car to the, we ran to the, the house, car. it was a t it was like <laughs> a horror movie. Yeah, it was like a horror movie. I mean, yesterday. and obviously like we couldn't film it because it was like downpouring, but it felt like I had just stepped into a shower with all my clothes on. Yeah, exactly. And I had already taken a shower earlier earlier in the day, so I don't know. Yeah, but I was <laughs> like, wow. Also, this is what it would feel like if you just stepped right in. And then surprisingly, because we had to leave all the drinks in the car. Yeah. Surprisingly, like an hour later, it was you know sunny, so our timing was not that good. It's funny because I just saw that movie, Bad Timing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, anyway. Well, because we, we try to look at the forecast and say, oh, we need to go early or late, but we wouldn't have gone at like four o'clock. Yeah, that's anyway, true. Anyway, so, true. and when I had looked originally in the morning when we were setting up our day, it said it was going to rain at four. And I was like, oh, okay, that'll give us plenty of time to do whatever we need to do. And then it rained well, at two Well, there's usually, instead. yeah, there's usually a certain time that we go to the store because we have breakfast, maybe a later breakfast, and then we go to the store so we can pick up a lunch, something we yeah. want for lunch. Yeah. And so that's, we just went at the usual time and it just happened to be the time. And, and we thought, I mean, obviously you know, they've already rain. seen the footage, but like we thought we had like lucked out because it rained while we were in the store. So yeah, that's right. It's, it'll be we fine. got out feeling, yeah, we got out of the store feeling very confident seeing that it had already rained, but yet we were really yeah, in for but it. That, after that. We just, the storm had just moved from the store to our house yeah. in that time. Bad timing. Is there just like a little bit left? Pasta? Yeah, just on the side. Oh, from, yeah, that's the Wegmans one, right? Yeah. Yeah, we've been so tired of what we've been eating, so we're trying to do these like custom salads from Wegmans, and um, we just got a piece of uh, grilled chicken and some uh, penne pasta with a, with, a, with a bag of salad, and then the croutons. Gotta love those croutons. <laughs> what kind of croutons? You can, you can show them. Let's see what you got. These are the lightly seasoned twice baked croutons that we're having, so. They're not as. I, Hard. The other ones are too hard. They're not. Yeah, sometimes they're, the other ones are like really, really too crunchy. And then we have um, dressing of our choice. And I like the you like the Italian dressing, and I like the Ken's uh, Steakhouse honey mustard dressing. And then you have the Italian one, the Olive Garden Italian, which I probably should try the Olive Garden Italian, but I think I'm going to go with the honey mustard today. So anyway, that's what we're eating for dinner now. This is dinner. I just noticed on the Criterion channel that they're featuring all of Paul Thomas Anderson's films, and, and these are all the Paul Thomas Anderson films that I have, starting with Heart 8. And I've got two copies of Boogie Nights, those are DVDs, a copy of Magnolia, Punch Drunk Love, I know there's a Criterion release of that, The Prairie Home Companion, There Will Be Blood, I have two copies of that, one on Blu-ray, The Master, Inherent Vice, Phantom Thread, and Licorice Pizza. But I'm a big fan of Paul Thomas Anderson, so it's nice to see a feature on the Criterion channel. They're also featuring a lot of Philip Seymour Hoffman uh, films as well.
So these are the new features on the Criterion channel for August, and the first one is Paul Thomas Anderson Films, There Will Be Blood, The Master, Punch Drunk Glove, Magnolia, and Licorice Pizza, which looks really good. There's also another feature called Photographer's, Photographer's Gaze with uh, films like Blow Up Rear Window, which is excellent, One Hour Photo, Pecker, and Eyes of Laura Mars. And then we have this other feature, which I was looking into today, uh, starring Philip Seymour Hoffman, which, uh, what an amazing um, actor. So they've got Capote, The Master. There's some, there's some overlap here with the Paul Thomas Anderson uh, films. Uh, Punch Drunk Love, The Savages, and Synecticut, New York. And I'm probably not even pronouncing that correctly, but. And then we have Vacation Noir, which looks really good, with uh, Purple Noon, The Lady from Shanghai, Lever to Heaven, which I highly recommend, and Niagara. There may be more films as well in these uh, features. This is just the highlights. This is the, uh, I really know nothing about this, but this is the, um, a, I guess, a director by the name of Yusef Shahin, uh, Titan of Egyptian uh, Cinema. So always something new to explore on the Criterion channel. And finally, we have uh, directed by Preston Sturgis. I have a few of these films too, but it's uh, films like The Lady Eve, The Palm Beach Story, The Great McGinty, Christmas in July, and Hail the Conquering Hero. So those are the uh, those are the features on the Criterion Channel for August. I'm really looking forward to this. I'll probably dig into the Philip Seymour Hoffman feature first. I just got this. I just got this email that our Big Lots is closing soon. So I guess we'll have to go there to see if there's any physical media left. We we love our local Big Lots, and that was a great place for physical media, right? We found steel books there. We found lots yeah. of other stuff there. So I guess next week, and you'll probably see this in the vlog. Next week we'll probably go there because I don't even know when it's closing from this. Yeah, it just says it's closing. It soon, says right? twenty percent off with discounts and I don't know if that means physical media, but last time they didn't have as much there at all, right? They didn't have as many. I movies know. there oh, just had like one little remember area remember last year they had like halloween christmas thanksgiving oh, that's all right together. yeah you're really right great so yeah. we're gonna have to go next week. we're gonna have to go next week and hopefully it doesn't close over the weekend that would be bad. i don't think it will yeah well it's always sad to see a physical media store closing or or any store closing and uh so our big lots is uh going to be closing it seems like one of the I heard one of the cashiers say probably within the next five or six weeks and so we're so happy that we went today we couldn't even wait till next week because we thought maybe some of the physical media would be gone so we picked up a few things uh, that, I, that I thought I would uh, share today but it is sad news that yet another store is closing down I got this copy of Richard the third with Ian McKellen uh, and a lot of others uh, I I remember seeing this in the theater and I did have another copy. This is my other copy of it from the library. So I had a library copy of it and I decided to upgrade because this is a sealed copy. And as you can see, it was only $2.99. Picked up a copy of City Slickers with Billy Crystal and Daniel Stern and Bruno Kirby. Uh, this is this is a real uh, fun one and I uh, did not have a copy of it. And I love on this one that there's lots of extra features on it. I was thinking too, this is the one thing if you have streaming services, uh, you know, you don't you don't really get these extra features unless you have a special release or unless you buy a digital copy of something. This one has an audio commentary with the director and Billy Crystal and Daniel Stern and some featurettes, deleted scenes and stuff like that. So uh, this is one reason, one of the many reasons, I think, to collect physical media. And we're so happy again we picked this one up. Um, next, I got, the, uh, I got this uh, four uh, film favorites of Clint Eastwood. I've talked a lot about Clint Eastwood on the channel too, and I did not have Sudden Impact. I did, I, I, and also um, Absolute Power. I do have a copy of The Enforcer and Firefox, but I thought for Sudden Impact, that's the, I think that's the last, or that may be, I'm not sure if that's the last um, Dirty Harry movie. It might not be, maybe Deadpool's the last one. But anyway, got this one and I'm happy I picked this one up. And finally, I picked up a copy of, um, I don't have Paramount Plus right now. My wife and I used to have Paramount Plus, but Sometimes I get the itch to watch some Star Trek Next Generation. I know this is on some free streaming services, but uh, you know, for $9.99, I thought uh, it you know, be really good to pick up a season of Star Trek The Next Generation. So this is, I believe, the last season of Star Trek The Next Generation. It's on DVD, but that's perfectly fine for me, and it's got some extra features also. So um, anytime I have a, uh, an interest in watching Star Trek's, Star Trek Next Generation, I've got a season that I could watch. So, 
And that's what we picked up at Big Lots. Again, we had to go today because of the, of the getting that email with the store closing. And I'm so happy we did. I don't think we'll be back there. I don't think there's going to be enough physical media left probably there. This, the store itself looked pretty empty already, not only in terms of the physical media, but also uh, just everything else. Because people, once they hear that the store is closing and that there's discounts, because we got this, I basically got everything here for $20. Um, so it, it was it was the prices that were marked plus 10% um, off. So that's what we got. Thanks for watching the vlog this week. Uh, we'll obviously be back next week. We love doing these weekly vlogs. Uh, but thanks so much for watching. We really appreciate it. If you like this video, click on like. And if this is your first video on the channel, please consider subscribing. That would be awesome. I sincerely hope that everyone is safe and well. And I'll talk to you soon.